Hello friends, welcome in research needs. Today in this video we will see study of anti-convulsion activity using electroconvulsiometer. So we will enter inside the XFARM software. So here after clicking, after entering inside the XFARM software we found this type of interface. Now we will click the electroconvulsiometer virtual practice and we will found here to perform experiment click here so we will click so now we will see here equipment electroconvulsiometer so we will read what its description is so we will read it firstly electroconvulsiometer is used to deliver electric shock of required intensity to the subject for required durations and this instrument is used to evaluate in t conversion effect of a pharmacological agent against electroshock induced convulsions in experimental animals an electrical stimulus with an intensity that induces characteristic conversion is applied to the animals through the electro placed on ear pinna the duration of tonic and clonic seizures are measured and the drug to be tested is administered to separate group of animals and its effect on such duration on such convulsions is measured anti conversion pharmacological agents reduces the duration of seizures induced by the electrical shocks so here we will use this instrument to cue the measured intensity of shock to the animals for the specific duration so we will use here electroconvulsiometer for that to induce conversion or a scissors into the mice so here after inducing the seizure to mice we will try to measure the duration of tonic and clonic seizures to two groups of drug first which is uh, dosed with saline and another which is dosed with the anti conversion drug means phenytoin so that we will see here now we will see the principle electrical shock given through the electrodes applied on the ear pinna results in some burst of excitatory neurotransmitters from the brain this activate the brain activity during grand mal epilepsy prior treatment of animals with the drug reduces the excited activity of brain so here this was the principle so here we are going to produce the grand mal epilepsy in grand mal epilepsy while we will induce it will produces three phases first is is a tonic phase in in that it will tonic flexion in tonic flexion it shows stiffness means all the large bones are get closer to each other and then it will relax into the tonic extensor then the all large organ get relax that period so that both comes under tonic phase and uh, in second phase is clonic phase clonic phase in that the all body parts get sagged they are showing a shaky movement or jerky movement they are showing in that period animals entered into the clonic phase and then the stupor almost that time animals get unconscious and lastly it recover from the recover from the all these seizure stages so these are the stages for grand mal epilepsy so that we are going to see here so after electric shock it will burst the excitatory neurotransmitter what are the excitatory neurotransmitters that are glutamate and aspartate? What are inhibitory? GABA, glycine and dopamine are inhibitory. What are the both? 
एसिटाइलकोलिन नॉर एफिनेफरिन एंड सेरोटोनिन आर बोथ टाइप ऑफ दीज आर दी क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स इन सी एन एस नाउ वी विल सी द एक्सपेरिमेंट विल क्लिक हियर आफ्टर क्लिकिंग इट सोइंग इंस्ट्रक्शन सो वी विल रीड इट केयरफुली to do experiment animals are divided into two groups six animal in each admission one group with the drug phenytoin 25 mg per kg to be tested and other with vehicles by interperitoneal routes after 30 minutes means after giving the drug of the drug treatment 30 minutes later attach electrodes of the convulsiometer on the ears of mouse Give soft 30 milliampere intensity for 0.2 second duration and measure the tonic seizures, tonic seizures and stupor. Also report the survival death of the animals. Means while we will give the shock, it will go first in tonic seizure, then tonic seizure, and then the animal will come in stupor. And lastly, it it uh, get survived or the death uh, occurs. that we will see determine the average duration determine whether the treatment with phenytoin reduces the duration of the stages of epilepsy so that is the main motto our drug which is anti convulsant it is reducing the epilepsy time or not or the seizures duration or not that we are going to notice here so we will go and do the experiment so now here you will find the number of animals now we will administer the drug both vehicle treated means we will give the saline by ip here we will give the phenytoin 25 mg per kg by ip so we will click administer so here we will give ip dose to the mice so now animal you can see animals are divided so now one by one we will give the electric shock so we will click first animals we will see only two from both group two animals and then we will fast forward and uh, see the results so we will click first animals so now here we are giving 0.2 seconds 30 milli ampere current still it is in chronic phase it is still in chronic phase animal is showing stiffness now it is tonic flex action extension now it is showing jerky tonic up to 34 second 34 oh. now it is say ki now in it is in stupor so 30 second after 30 it was around 6 and in stupor it was around 8 So now it is recovered. So like that, we have to take the readings. It is goes for vehicle controls. Now we will go for next animal. So first animal was uh, the software is showing lagging just because of it get downloads and then the queue results. So the timer and the software action is not matching. So now we will see the next animals. so here we are going to give the shock now you can see the animals under stiffness means in tonic phase tonic flexion it is a tonic flexion phase now it is tonic relaxation uh, extension extension now it is in after 36 26 now it is shaking phase still it is shaking means it is chronic phase uh, after 39 it is phase and for in stupor it was remaining 5 second it was in stupor 
now animal is recovered so we will write here recovered so we will take one more animal for these things so we will use sock of 30 milli ampere 4.2 second now animals you can see animal showing it is in tonic phase tonic flexion in that body is get stiff all the large bone get stiff flat closer now it is in tonic extension now entered in after 30 second it enters in clonic phase and still is going 441 42 to 2 seconds it was in clonic phase and then for 7 seconds it was in stupor now animal is getting it is recovery so now we will write here recover so next we will see the treatment group animals so we will click first animal first we will give the sock for 30 milli ampere 0.2 second duration so so here you can see the drug is treated with phenytoin and uh, still it is in it is now tonic extension and it is after 22 it was 22 second for tonic phase in clonic phase still it is in clonic phase now it is th for 34 second it was in clonic phase now it is in extension phase up to 34 means it was in 12 second 12 seconds and then for 5 second it was in stupor so we will it now animal is recovered so we will select here recovery now we will go for second animal the drug treated so we will give the sock now we will again observe the animals so it is still in tonic phase it is moving in tonic extension and now after 18 it is entered into the clonic phase now it is sock up to 26 it was giving it means 8 second and 8 to up to 31 for 5 second it was in stupor now we will go for next animal one more animal we will see we have given the sock we will wait for it is still the animal showing stiffness of their bone it is closer to the body now it is entering a tonic extension phase now it is showing sock after up to 19 it has shown tonic phase now it is in colonic phase up to 26 26 means it was 7 second for in clonic phase and now up to this for 5 second it was in stupor phase so this was the drug treated drugs now we will see the observation here we can see the average duration for tonic phase is more in vehicle treated groups tonic and clonic both have more than the and then the drug treated fentanyl treated drug is it is already reduced just the tonic phase is reduced 
here you can see an cloning phase is reduced and now an stupor also it get reduced so now we will see in the this was the observation so now we will see the conclusion lastly treatment of mice with 25 mg per kg phenytoin decreases the duration of cloning and toning convulsions and also reduces the duration of stupor the efficacy of phenytoin in the maximum electroshock induced conversion is shown so how was the video please do comment if you have any query thank you for watching research unit thank you thank you very much